What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Jang's Away video. Now, today I thought I'd touch on a little bit of something. I mean, you can see what is uh, on the screen here behind me. Um, this is FanDuel. Um, they do uh, like NBA talking points and like just like a, it's like a little news show kind of thing. Um, if you don't know who they are, go check them out. They've got a cool YouTube channel. All their stuff is Creative Commons, so you can use it to, you know, do reactions and things like that. Um, but anyway, a year ago... They did a video here, and I'm about to watch it. I'm pretty sure I remember how it goes, but it's NBA players vote Michael Jordan as the GOAT over LeBron James. Now, this was a year ago. So let's watch uh, just what they say and how it goes. Yeah, that's, wow. great. that's a good list. Yeah, that's not so but That's the list you want to be on. And then this one, Dame Lillard, I think, took... They also did some other stuff about, like, um, most overrated, most underrated and stuff like that, but we're only here for the GOAT debate at the moment. Just... Uh, exception to this one the greatest player of all time was not close michael jordan with 58 percent of the vote followed by lebron james with 33 percent there's players current players picked that yes there's a guy wow. it's really close though if you think about it 58 to 30 no it ain't it ain't close there's a <laughs> oh man um she's so excited sorry i keep on looking over this way because that's where my camera normally it's up here now um, she's so excited that last year, like, it wasn't close. 58 to 33, like, that really isn't that close. Like, it's pretty much 60% to 33%, um, close to the two only players that, NBA players last year. Um, and it was an anonymous poll, you didn't know who it was, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty much those two were the two. Obviously, Kobe there, you can see 6.8, and, um, let's just keep watching her excitement and, uh, you know... I just I find it very interesting that she's that excited for LeBron not to be the GOAT. But anyway, we'll go back a little bit. Oh, it's really <laughs> close, though. If you think about it, 58 to 30. <laughs> no, it ain't. It ain't close. There's a guy who voted for Tracy McGrady. <laughs> Out yourself. That guy's name know. is Tracy McGrady through somebody that he yeah. knows on the league. And I love I Tracy McGrady. I want to know who did that. <laughs> Shout out T-Mac. That's quite the silver. Yeah, but D D uh, Dame Lillard. Man, like, I've only just started watching FanDuel. I'm going to start watching this more. This is kind of fun. I didn't like it because he was like, now you kind of know who your friends are type of vibe. As if, like, what, because you play with LeBron, you're supposed to? No, LeBron has works. plenty of friends. It's, we see yeah. them every day in the league. Yeah, we, we see you. Clearly Raymond. plenty of haters, too, because I, I didn't. This is shocking. But why is that hating LeBron and not loving What's well, not hating? You would think it'd be the Oh, man, that annoys me. Like, why is she's just, like, going, do, 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 like, oh, man. Like, um, you know, it's not close. It's not close. That That's, I mean, I know it's not hating LeBron, like, per se, but, like, you're taking, like, excitement. You're taking, like, the fact that he didn't get better. And this was last year. Like, this was 12 months ago. Um, but you're taking the excitement that that is, like, the outcome, and then you're applying it. So that kind of is hating. Not hating, but it's kind of like, haha, mm, like, you know, what you used to do to, like, kids in school like you'd see kids all the time like someone does something silly huh you did something wrong like yeah that's um anyway i'm gonna get out of this bit for a sec because i looked up what the poll was this year so last year it was mj 58 percent let's say 60 um and lebron 33 percent let's say 30, well, like i mean 58 percent 33 percent you can sort of take that um so then i looked up what to what this year's was and MJ's has dropped all the way back to 49%, as you can see just here. And then LeBron has jumped, bumped up to 37 So what do we say? It was 58 for MJ. So MJ's lost nine points um, for who, like NBA players that think that he is the greatest of all time. And LeBron's gained, what, four? Yeah, LeBron's gained 4%. Um, as you can see here on this one, Kobe Bryant has kind of picked up his a little bit. I feel like that, you know, I can't say that's too much because, uh, you know, last year to this year, more time that Co since Kobe's died and so more fondness because he had already been, you know, passed away for a fair few years. I mean, not a lot of years, obviously, but, you know, three years uh, where this year it's been about four. So, yeah, like, I feel like as newer players come in, the, the newer players see what LeBron did and what Kobe did. They watched that. They didn't watch what Jordan did. Uh, what Jordan... I mean, I'm sure they have, like, seen what Jordan did, but they didn't really watch what he did. And so that sort of goes back to the back of the mind. Now, 
me personally, I can't differentiate between the two. For me, it's it's like 1A and 1B, and I don't know who's 1A and 1B. I can't, like, I just can't. Like, and, and I know me and a mate have a, a conversation about it all the time. Oh, well, not all the time, but we do. Uh, and, and his perspective was that, uh, you know, Jordan had this massive influence over, like, he basically took what Magic and Bird had created, kind of like what every generation has done, he took what Magic and Bird had done by kind of sustaining the league uh, and then took it to new heights in the 90s. Now, I personally think that some of that is because, you know, media got bigger, the internet come around like 2000, so Jordan was still playing then, remember? So he's the, uh, the specter of Michael Jordan was still fresh. Uh, that could be shared around the world a lot easier. So Jordan really hit that global presence. I know it was in the nineties. It wasn't uh, like wasn't like two thousand five or anything like that. But he really took basketball to that upper level. Now, for me, when I'm saying who's the greatest basketballer of all time, I can't take that as as a as, as something to. I can't take that into into account because. I'm saying who is the greatest basketball player of all time. I think if I, if somebody asked me who's had the greatest impact on basketball of all time, definitely, I definitely have to say Michael Jordan. There's no other answer. But if I'm just saying who's the greatest basketball player of all time, then I, I have them like this. I have them like this. <coughs> Sorry, I'm not used to talking this much. Haven't done a video like this in a long time. So uh, anyway, yeah, you can see how as time goes on, the memory of players kind of gets pushed back. And I'm sure the same thing will happen to LeBron and there'll be people that'll pop up like Aunt Edwards. And it's funny, my name's um, Bo Edwards and so my brother's name is Anthony Edwards. So it's kind of funny that, um, yeah, this new dude coming up. I think he definitely could, if he stays healthy, be one of the greatest of all time. The other person you got to be on the lookout for... Uh, Victor Wembanyama, like, what is that guy? Oh my god! Okay, that's my next video. I'm gonna do a reaction of Victor Vem Victor Wembanyama's top 50 plays of the season because I feel like that dude is insane, and like, I am so close to being on that bandwagon. Like, I think for me, LeBron's my favorite player of all time. Uh, besides, actually, my favorite player of all time is Kim Olajuwon. LeBron's like my favorite player to sort of watch. I've watched the most, and things like that, uh, and. So for me, I think my next step after LeBron is going to be to follow someone like Anthony Edwards, follow someone like Victor Wembanyama, because it's just they're just insane players, and I feel like the league's in an amazing place. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's the video, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and yeah, it'll be Victor Wembanyama's top fifty, hopefully, or it'll be something like that. Victor Wembanyama's top highlights of the season. So. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.